Hello guys, this is Hydro again, and this is the second episode of my Fulham Road to Glory. Uh, based on some tips from the previous episode, I've been told that it would be easier to edit it down. And in the background, you'll just see basically what I've done, like I signed this young player on loan, uh, Ben Woodburn, from Liverpool, signed him on loan, pretty solid young player. Gianluca, uh, sorry, Gianluca Godinos, signed him on loan from... Bayern Munich, stats are just going in the background. Jason Ayenga Lokilo signed him uh, from Crystal Palace from, for 2 million, I believe. My funds are basically gone. Uh, I'm going to. This is the first game, there's five games in this episode. First game, Fulham versus Newcastle. Uh, I didn't really. I didn't show the my tactics and all that, because I didn't actually select tactics for this game, and you'll see that's quite evident, especially with, yep, there we go, there's 1-0, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, the signings, Ben Woodburn, he's a very good young, uh, striker, uh, become, becomes one of the best in the world when he's about 23, I think, so I thought, but obviously, with film not having very many like, finance, very much money finance wise, uh, that it would be a bit easier to just get in a few players on loan. So I sort of looked around and thought, well, as a championship side, we have the ideal target for for um, Premier League teams to loan players to. So I had a look around. Uh, I saw, I remembered. Uh, Ben Woodburn from a previous career that I did, very good player, uh, and I s also spotted Gianluca uh, Galdino from Bayern because he was in like a recommended list, so I thought, okay, fine, I'll uh, try and get him on loan, see what happens, ended up signing him, he's got, both players got very good base stats for uh, 17 year olds, 17 or 19 I believe they are, uh, this is the first game played in the background. Bit disappointed to be 1-0 down, but what can I do about that? Uh, just as I'm speaking, 2-0 down. Just, this isn't the formation I usually play, it's just I forgot to do it. Because obviously I didn't get an episode out yesterday, so I'm sort of rushing to get a, an episode out. Uh, so I ended up swapping formation, and I found it to be a bit more effective than the one I was using. The, uh, the four. 2-1-2-1-2, two, one, two, one, two. not a great formation, we didn't concede, but so I guess that's why it's more effective, but I did use this formation in, I believe, two of the next games, of the next four games, which was quite interesting, as you can see, game over, we lost 2-0, but to Newcastle, probably the top team in uh, the championship as of right now. Our second game, we were at home to Luton in the EFL Cup. Expected to win this, obviously. And I was using, if in this formation, Kino Ride, if you will have noticed that I uh, used the same formation. Team's a little bit different, though, I believe. And speaking of Kino Ride, keen eyed people, some of you may have noticed that this isn't the same save as it was in the first episode. Fixtures are different for the friendlies. And that's because I actually forgot to save it after the first episode before I went to my Crystal pa Palace save, which I used to basically relax and unwind. And I forgot to save it, so I just made it again. Did the same as what I did last time. I put all the made them take all their exams. Not all of them passed. Only one of them passed actually this time, so that could slow us down a bit. But it didn't really. Uh, didn't affect anything, so should be fine, hopefully. Uh, as you can see, our second game against Luton, I believe we're three nil up, at uh, four nil up at this point, are we? If I've been stop mucking around with the team, yeah, we're four nil up at this point, which is actually the final score. A solid performance, Sonia Luko, fantastic player. I'm really glad to have him on loan. A solid player, not he's not even on loan, is he? I can't remember, but he's a solid player. Uh, I tried to get Ben Woodburn a goal, but he still hasn't scored yet, I don't believe. Which is gutting. Uh, 
Chris Kirkland signed this guy on a free transfer in between those two games. As you can see, his base stats are pretty solid. He's 35 years old, got a good bit of experience, and he could be a solid keeper, I feel, in the Skybet Championship. Uh, now, third game of the episode is an away game to Preston. Uh, bit of a tight game, quite closely, closely matched. Uh, I do believe we win this game. Well, obviously there's five games I can't remember all the results. I remember we lost 2-0, we win 4-0. I think we win 1-0 and then draw our last two games, I'm not sure. But wow, oh, 14,000 people attending this game. That's mental. But yeah, as you can see, we're 1-0 up. We have the advantage on the stats. It's a very, very close game though and I am more than chuffed that we came away with the three points. I didn't especially when it came towards the end of the game this is my other formation by the way when it came towards the end of the game I did not feel we were going to win it I honestly thought they were going to equalise but yeah so I have two formations two main formations uh, The four f they're both 4 five ones or variations of you've got the attacking one where there's three attacking midfielders and a striker and two centre mids and I've got the one that I like to use away from home quite a defensive formation it's a uh, four defenders obviously, a CDM, two centre mids, two attacking mids and a striker. Quite a solid formation. I need to spend more time having a look at how the players uh, perform. Ayinga, Loki Low got a run out in striker today, played pretty well. But yeah, I need to sort of look over their stats, see what roles people prefer because I, I basically, all my formations have set roles and I want to see who can play where. This game, this is a draw. 1-0, one, uh, one all sorry, all the way to the end, unbelievable that we didn't win, I f really feel like we should have won this game, especially with the chances we had, it's actually quite astounded that we didn't win uh, this game, with Leeds' chances only coming from set plays, which I think we need to work on, I need to figure out a, a way of getting around that, I need, the one thing I really need to sign is a right back, because I did, I do end up selling uh, Woodrow in this episode between the 4th and 5th game or the 3rd and 4th game, I can't remember. This is the 4th game, isn't it? So yeah, it'll be between the 4th and 5th game. I end up selling him and I'd say it's worth it, to be honest. I, did, I didn't, couldn't see myself using him. I have the likes of Chris Martin, Ben Woodburn, Sonia Luko, uh, all able to play up front. Ayinga Lokilo all quality strikers, I don't need more strikers, so I ended up selling him for 2 million, I think it was, 2 or 3 million, and that was just to cover my wage budget, because obviously, like I mentioned before, don't have a lot of funds, so I sold one player, made all my money back, now this is a final game of the episode, it's another draw, Sonia Luko equalising in the 43rd minute, he's a solid player, can't wait to see how he fares over the course of the season, but yeah. So let me let me know what you guys think of this episode. Obviously, it's shorter than the last one, but a lot more going on in this episode. I've cut out all the loading times, so all you guys see are signings that I've made that I update you on, uh, actual gameplay, and I forgot to make subs in that game. And I feel like if I did make subs, we would have won. Uh, and some basically big news is all I'm going to show you guys games stuff like that. Uh, and also let me know if it's go if the gameplay's a bit too fast if you'd like me to lower it down a level because I do realise that the gameplay's going through like that it's just minute long games and it's not too great. Uh, here you can just see all the stats so far. Chris Martin is our top goal scorer which I'm pretty sure a local scored too but one of them might be in the cup. Uh, Lokilo with top assists. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in episode 3.